Sports in the Weather Center with a pleasant change in the temperatures. Yeah, that's right, Kelly. They're dropping substantially. We're going to end up with below average temperatures for most of us throughout the entirety of this week. So some fantastic news there. As far as today goes, it's going to be bright. It's going to be breezy and it's going to be warm. We do have some limited air quality impacts, but they're really tamped down compared to what we've experienced over the last couple of weeks. So limited smoke impacts and then warm and dry for most of us throughout the week. And I say most of us because there is a slight chance for a little shower activity sagging just south of the Oregon border Wednesday into Thursday. A live look outside this morning at the Sundial Bridge in Redding, courtesy of the visitredding.com website. You can see right now nobody taking advantage of the very pleasant conditions out there to start off the day. Right now we're in the 60s to low 70s in the valley. 72 degrees in Redding, 66 degrees for Chico, 64 for Orville, 68 degrees for Red Bluff. We're in the 50s to 60s in the foothills, 67 degrees right now for Paradise. And we're in the 40s to lower 50s in most of our mountain zones right now. So a pleasant start to the day for those temperatures. Maybe even a little brisk. You might want that light extra layer on your way out the door. I know I was happy I had mine. Winds this morning east to west, 5 to 7 miles an hour right now in Butte County. But calmer elsewhere. The one exception here, Redding, northwest or northeast wind to 8 miles an hour right now. Those winds staying light this morning. Picking up a bit, though, this afternoon, 15 to 20 mile an hour gusts out of the southeast to northwest. We'll see those winds locally stronger between Butte and Tama County areas tonight, 25 to 30 mile an hour gusts later tonight. And then those winds tamp down again in the overnight hours. And we're left with south winds. 10 miles an hour or so for tomorrow afternoon with gusts close to the park fire up to 20 miles an hour. So winds not a big factor here. In fact, they're helping us with the humidity staying a little more elevated because it's pulling that marine air in to the north with that increased onshore flow. Satellite and radar clear skies overnight into this morning and you can see just to our south we've had this band of moisture tracking through and we're going to see a chance for a little activity along the California Nevada border later on today. But it's these cooler systems rolling through the Pacific Northwest that are driving this drop in temperatures for us. They're keeping our high temperatures in check for today and that's going to be lasting through most of this week. As far as what's going on as we move forward, your hyperlocal future cast, it's sunny skies at 8 a.m. More sunshine for you for your lunch hour at noon today. 5 p.m. sunny for the valley, but some clouds tracking into the northern Sierra and a slight chance for showers along the California Nevada border. We're clear overnight into tomorrow morning. We might see a couple thin clouds just brushing on through our far northern zones tomorrow afternoon and evening, but we are staying dry. And then moving forward after that, there's a chance for a little shower activity sagging just south of the Oregon border Wednesday and Thursday. Following that, a little bit of a chance on Friday, but for the most part, we're just staying sunny and dry this weekend with comfortable temperatures. 80s to low 90s in the northern mountains today, 70s to mid 80s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades, foothills in the 70s to mid 80s as well, 84 for Paradise, 82 for Magalia in the valley today, 94 degrees for Redding, 92 for Red Bluff, 91 for Chico and Orville and 93 degrees for Willow. So all around, this is a decent looking afternoon for us today with air quality improving through the day as well as those south winds pick up. We'll stay in the lower 90s tomorrow after dipping into the lower 60s in the after the morning hours. So a little bit 60s for the valley tomorrow morning, a little bit 90s for the afternoons over the next several days. In fact, it looks like we'll peak at around 96 degrees in Reading Thursday and Friday, but then back down to the lower 90s through the weekend with sunshine. Kelly, this is a fantastic outlook for mid-August across Northern California, so I hope everyone's able to take advantage and enjoy it. I know for a lot of those kids, school starts next week. How about this for the end of summer? Hard to believe it went so fast. It did. <laughs> Thanks, Court.